Guys, what is going on? War Moose Eternal here, and today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the new Aggressive Frame Void Elemental SMG that come with Guardian Games 2022. And we're talking about the title. Am I going to like it? Am I not? Is it going to be a good contender, or is it going to be sitting on the sidelines in people's vaults? Well, let's just take a quick look here at the very first one you'll get, and we'll go from there. All right. This is the, what you'll get on your very first roll. Arrowhead Break, Corkscrew Rifling, High Cow Rounds, Light Mag, Grave Robber, Vorpal Weapon, Classy Contender, and Hockey Breach Armaments, and a Stability Masterwork. Alright, not bad. Not bad. This is what Light.gg says about it. This is the drop rate of some of the perk combos. First things first, 27 rounds, not enough ammunition need more so got to throw on a backup mag give myself 30 and with 750 rpm i do have to say you'd go through uh, 30 rounds in about two and a half seconds give or take and looking at it though guys honestly it does have a bit of cold front-esque vibes to it because it is built off the same platform but it is a different gun If y'all remember Cold Front, how that thing was a uh, kind of weird at first because it could roll with Dragonfly, but it was a kinetic. Alright, up against these little small ads, great little gun. I mean, just tears through it. Would I take this as something like a Grandmaster? Most likely not. I don't know why, I just punched that Ravager there. What takes this? Take this into a raid? Maybe. If I want to spawn my void wells real quick and get a quick kill to get those wells go up and going, get my build procced, most likely. As I just press myself taking out that chieftain there, trying out the damage up against a little bit tougher add. Which honestly, about a mag and a half, two mags, you'll go through it and kill them. Now, I do have to say the sight picture, it's a bit smaller than that of the funnel web and the Shariahs. But that's besides the point. Though. You can make. I'm sure people can make do with that because honestly, mine is a sight picture. I'm kind of digging this little guy. Didn't realize he was still immune there. Deal with that scorn real quick. Now, I'm not gonna say this is going to be a good contender for something like the Shariahs or the Final Web, but it does hit a little bit harder than both of them, but with the Shariahs, there are some rolls that turn that thing into a miniature gnawing hunger, if you guys can understand that. For those of you who don't know, the gnawing hunger was an absolute monster of an auto rifle. Alright, and I do have to say though, Switching between ads to target. <clears throat> sorry about that, Mike cut out. I am so sorry, guys. But anyway, guys, switching between ads to target them to take them out. It's actually really light feeling, really quick. And I just say I really like that aspect, especially for an SMG. Now, would I use this in place of an auto rifle? If I was doing something like a grenade launcher and it was going to be in close quarters, most likely yes. Where I see this thing being an absolute terror because I was consulting a couple friends of mine that do PvP. This thing is probably going to be an absolute terror in PvP. Rivaling that of the Funnel Web, but not on the same par as the Shrines. Now, if you guys want, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison of this, the Funnel Web, and the Shrines. No, I will not be doing the Adept one because I was actually fortunate enough to be taken to the White House by some very generous people. Who know I can't do PvP due to reasons I'll explain in a later video. But I got an adept one and a regular one. So there's that. Now, honestly though, airborne wise, it's not too bad. Now, ground wise, the target it, it tracks really good. Airborne tracking, mm, not too bad. But I've never really been one for like, you know, airborne esque gameplay. I'm more ground and pound, you know, 
hold my territory and hold myself down. Like, I lock down a position like this is my area, and I'm going to keep pressing forward until I take all of them. Now, up against this knight here, it takes about a mag to kill him. Get, keep in mind, that's with 30 rounds. So yes, it is an aggressive frame, higher, a little bit higher impact, and we're talking SMG-wise. We're not going to be talking on impact levels to say that of an auto rifle. So it's good for like a quick kill and to get like an elemental well and go on and swap to another weapon. Now, in a room like this where this gun is really designed for, this thing is a little animal. Because you can close the gap pretty quickly on your enemies and just take them out to matter, just a millisecond. But up against something like this boss here, it's not really per se a boss killer. It's more like a boss annoyer. Now, using this in say like a high tier nightfall, I would use this to say get a stun off on a champion and then swap to a higher damage weapon to take out that champion. And once you get used to the recoil, it's actually pretty easy to control once you get used to it. But other than that, honestly, good little contender. Starting to really like it. But as you see though, I'm not doing a lot of damage even when Vorpal kicks in, so there's that. I would honestly say this gun would be better used up against like red bar adds a little trash mobs, so there's that to consider as well. But for an SMG, it's actually pretty fun. So we're gonna here in a second, we're gonna actually going to do something. We're gonna extend the range out a little bit and see how she performs at range. Alright. So I went through and did the mission Remember where you go fight Sabathun. And I decided necessary. to take it out of the range Without and the see light. how it does. The last city is All right. Like I said, as you see there, it does have a bit of drop off. Because this is more of like auto rifle territory. But right here, it just it tears these to all up. Because this is where this gun's designed for. There's real tight areas, real tight spaces. <clears throat> and I want to see how it does, did up against that wizard. And honestly, didn't perform the way I wanted to, but that wizard was getting on my nerves, so he ate a shield. And the splashback actually hit that one wizard, killed it, so there you go. And as, up against the shielded ones with the moss, it doesn't take too much more to kill him, even on lower difficulty activity like this, which is what this is, just a quick quick run through as a quick test. I just now saw that Lucian Acolyte up there. And honestly, at a little bit longer range, you do kind of lose a bit of that punch that it has. So we're going to take it to a little bit smaller room and we're going to try it out there. All right. As you see, not too bad. Not bad at all. It's actually really nice. All right. That one there, I was, I thought I was getting precision shots, but I wasn't, so I was like, crap. That whiz was getting really, really annoying. So, there's that. Overall, guys, I'd say it's a good contender. I really hope you guys enjoyed this because I had a lot of fun making this. And as always, guys, y'all take care. Stay safe out there. God bless you guys. And y'all have a good one. And by the way, we had 135 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Y'all have a wonderful day. Like and click those two links. And subscribe. And subscribe.